Today is the day that you guys have been waiting for. I am going to be sharing with you guys my one month review on Bondi Boost. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Cash Curls. I do curly related videos and other fun things here at the Cash Curls Corner. So happy to have you. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other content. But today we are talking Bondi Boost. I am doing a three month series here on my channel where I will be testing out Bondi Boost for the next three months. As the brand claims within three months, you'll be able to see some sort of results. So I wanted to go ahead. I've seen these products all over Instagram, a lot of social media bloggers and celebrities vouching for them, but I was a little skeptical. So the last month I've been trying the products out and today I'm going to let you guys know the tea on Bondi Boost. Again, this is a one month review, so I'm sure as time progresses, I'll have more to say, but I still have a few things to mention today. So if you're excited for the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up before we start. Let's get into Bondi Boost. To start off, I'm going to show you guys the products I have been using for the last month and just let you know what they are. The first product I have here is the Bondi Boost HG Conditioner. The second product I have been using is the Bondi Boost HG Shampoo. The third product I've been using is the Bondi Boost Miracle Hair Mask. And last but definitely not least, the Bondi Boost Intensive Spray. So yes, guys, I have been very busy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to break down this review into three different categories as the products to focus on three different areas of your hair. The first being growth, the second being health and volume. It's supposed to create volume in your hair. So I'm going to give you guys a tea on whether it did all three of those things, one of those things, where was it a hit, where was it a miss, do I love these products, etc. Now we have to be fair, right? It's only been a month. It does say it takes three months to see the best results. So I'm not going to knock it. I'm not going to say it doesn't grow your hair. I'm not going to say nothing happened because we have developments, guys. I'm going to share a picture of my hair a month ago before I even started using Bondi Boost right here. And then luckily <laughs> my hair is out today so we can compare. Then we have my hair today. And I think I can honestly say no, it has not dramatically grown. No, we're not at that Rapunzel length. But if you guys remember a few videos back, I did actually cut my hair into layers. And at this point, those layers are grown out. And I definitely think the ends of my hair are a lot thicker than they looked before. Like they started to thin out here before. And now they're like, you know, looking a little healthier. So was this some miracle month where my hair grew from like this to that? No. But for one month, that's pretty good. I know you see my hair. I know you see. Never ever before <laughs> have I been able to so effortlessly get volume. Has my hair looked like this on day two before? Yes, easily with a pick. But for my hair to naturally dry this big, priceless. If you know me, you know I like big hair. I don't like my hair to be flat. I don't care much for definition. I am a volume kind of girl. So the fact that my hair can look like this with me just kind of, I didn't use a formal pick, but I just kind of, you know, pick it out with my fingers is very impressive. <laughs> my mom is looking at me. Is very impressive, guys. And this didn't just happen one time, right? I've been using these products for the last four weeks, one month. So the first time it happened, I was like, you know what? Maybe I just had a good product day. Maybe I just put all the right things in my hair. You know, we have good days, but I started realizing every single time I wash my hair with these products and use these products, I'm getting these results. So I think it's fair to say Bondi Boost could take a little credit in the volume department. Check. And you guys, I don't even want to say what I'm about to say because I know it's going to sound like she's just chatting i am now gonna sound like one of those influencers i was talking about but to be honest to be very honest with you guys there are very few hairlines that i have used that in the shower i already feel the difference 
and I'm talking about from first wash, let's talk about the shampoo for a minute. This is not a co-wash, okay? It's not designed for moisture. It is a cleansing shampoo, cleansing. And a lot of times, what does cleansing mean for curly girls? Well, it means drying. It means, oof, my hair feels like a Brillo pad after using it. Have not experienced that once with this shampoo. And I've been shampooing my hair every week for the last four weeks, which by the way, I don't normally do. I usually shampoo, co-wash, shampoo, co-wash. So this right here, it's, it's pretty good. We, we like her, we like her. It's too soon to say we love her, but we like her. And honestly, it has a lot of really great ingredients in it. There's peppermint, rosemary, um, and I definitely also want to mention when you use this in the shower, it is that spa feeling because of the peppermint. It does tingle your scalp a little bit. You feel the clean, cleanliness of it just because of that peppermint. So I really do like it. And now we've got to talk about the conditioner, right? Because we're talking about health. And this conditioner right here, I think if I had to pick one product from the line that I'm like, you need to go buy this today. And I'm comfortable saying that now with the one month review is this conditioner. You guys, when I put this in my hair, first of all, when I put it in my hair, I can detangle without a brush. If you're a curly girl, you already know what that means. Without a brush, without a detangling brush, what? Exactly, I've been finger detangling my hair with this product and it has been working for me so well. And why that's such a big deal to be able to finger detangle your hair is it causes a lot less breakage than using a detangling brush. Although detangling brushes are safe for curly hair when you're using one that's designed for curly hair, there's still a little fallout. There's still a little breakage that could be done if you're like rushing one day. Um, but using this conditioner, I've just been able to use my fingers and only my natural fallout has been coming out, which has been amazing which by the way is also probably what's contributing to the growth and health in my hair not having a lot of split ends and breakage so we love her i, I can say we love her <laughs> um but i will also say when washing this product out of your hair at least in my experience every single time i feel the moisture every single time my curls clump together effortlessly so I don't know what's in this formula, but trust me on this, the conditioner, you need it. Especially if you're struggling with dry hair. I typically don't have dry hair. My hair is pretty like, no, I guess normal, like, you know, skin, you say you have oily, dry or normal skin. My hair is pretty normal. It's not usually really dry and it's also not oily at all. So for the most part, so this has worked great for me now imagine if you have dry hair how life-changing this could be so just leave that thought um since i touched on those two products might as well give you like my initial reactions of the other two although <laughs> it it's not necessarily just related to the health of your hair but this deep conditioner i am also a fan of it do i think you have to use this deep conditioner no i think it works and i think it works well but is it my favorite deep conditioner in the whole entire universe i'm telling you guys you need to go out run out and buy it to be honest no it works it's great um, but i think there are more affordable options that do the same thing but i'm not sure if you have to use all four products together in order to get that three month result so of course i'm going to continue to use it because i want my results to be you know as close to perfect as possible and as realistic as possible for you guys and accurate so i'm gonna keep using her but it's okay it's, it does its job i'm not knocking it and then this intensive spray right here this is another product i will get excited about i never use a spray in my hair on an everyday basis before i don't even have another intensive spray to compare it to but other companies need to start coming out with these um i guess the closest thing to an intensive spray would be like a refreshing spray that i know some curly companies have but this has been one of those products where I didn't know I needed it, but I need it. It's a leave-in formula that contains a super smart ingredient, vitamin B5, peppermint, and tea tree essential oil. It's lightweight and non-greasy, plus it smells like a tropical dream. Okay. 
like I said, this product, amazing. I use it every single day on my scalp. It helps your scalp to just stay refreshed. Um, sometimes I find I'm washing my hair like twice a week just because I'm like, oh, my scalp needs it. Whereas this will help me to keep my wash and go all week long. And I don't know what about it that, like what about it makes your hair last all week long, but it's definitely something in the spray. Um, the only thing I will say is I don't smell the tropical. That's the one thing. That's why I have to just reread that for you guys and take a sniff. It smells really good, but I don't get tropical vibes. I smell more of like the peppermint and the like, there's a soft tint of tropical, but it's definitely not your, it's, it's not your like aloha vibes. And like, I don't get that from this, but it smells really good. They all kind of smell a little salon-y, spa-y, you know, bougie. So <laughs> I definitely do enjoy the scent of all the products just to be clear so a couple of last minute thoughts here guys i just kind of broke down each product for you but i can say what i can say within one month is i'm definitely surprised impressed and excited to continue to use the products for the next two months um before i give my final thoughts and review on it um i like i said was really surprised i was a skeptic and not because i wasn't rooting for them i'm always rooting for every curly brand but they were making a lot of promises and you know sometimes when companies make a lot of promises you just never know that's when i was like hmm okay like i said excited to keep using them because i have been reaching for them whether i have to film for you guys or not like it's not like okay i promise to use them for the next three months so that's why i'm using them it's they're my go-to's i've been gravitating towards them on my hair shelf the last month and I've never had to remind myself you have to use Bondi Boost when I go to wash my hair so what did that tell you? Cash flow Sam I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm really excited to get to talk more about Bondi Boost coming up real soon I will continue to make videos of course in the interim so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the content and also so you can keep yourself up to date with the Bondi Boost full length review. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.